Hi, the Sci-Fi Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain the American science fiction action film called Equilibrium. Spoilers ahead, watch out, and take care. Equilibrium is set in the futuristic and dystopian city-state of Libria. The film explains how, in the early years of the 21st century, a devastating Third World War breaks out, the impact of which brings civilizations across the planet to their knees. After the war ends, world leaders fear that the human race cannot possibly survive a Fourth World War, and so set about building a new society which is free of conflict. Believing that human emotion is responsible for man's inhumanity to man, the new leaders ban all materials deemed likely to stimulate strong emotions, including art, music, and literature. These materials are rated EC-10 for emotional content, a reference to the MPAA film rating system, and are typically destroyed by immediate incineration. Furthermore, all citizens of Libria are required to take regular injections, called intervals, of a liquid drug called prosium, collected at the distribution centers known as Equilibrium. Libria is governed by the Tetragrammaton Council, which is led by a reclusive figurehead known as Father. Father never interacts with anyone outside the ruling council, but his image is omnipresent throughout the city in a strong cult of personality. The Tetragrammaton Council strives to create identical lives for all Librians and uses its police state apparatus to enforce unity and conformity. At the pinnacle of Librian law enforcement are the Grammaton clerics, who are trained in the deadly martial art of gun kata, an art which teaches users to predict the actions of opponents during firearm combat. The clerics exist for the purpose of locating and destroying EC-10 materials and for pursuing, apprehending, and, if necessary, terminating sense offenders, people guilty of feeling emotions. Despite the efforts of the police and clerics, a resistance movement exists in Libria, known as the Underground. Members of this movement are responsible for terrorist activity against Libria, specifically against the Prosium factories. The leaders of the Underground believe that if they can disrupt the production and distribution of Prosium for a short period of time, even a single day, then the Librians will rise up and destroy the Tetragrammaton Council. The Underground operates within Libria itself, but also has contact with resistance groups residing in the nethers, the ruins of cities destroyed during World War III. These outsiders hoard objects and artifacts from the old society before World War III, including art and literature. Subsequently, they are the targets of Librian death squads, composed of police and clerics. The film's protagonist, Grammaton cleric first class, John Preston, is Libria's highest-ranking cleric. He is a widower whose wife was executed after being revealed to be a sense offender, leaving him with two children, Robbie and Lisa. After a raid on a group of resistance members in the nethers, Preston notices that his partner, Grammaton cleric first class Errol Partridge, has personally taken a copy of the poems of Yeats under false pretenses. Preston discovers that Partridge has not turned the book over for destruction and follows him to a ruined cathedral in the nethers, where Partridge speaks of emotion and forces Preston to aid him in suicide by cop. Shortly afterwards, Preston accidentally breaks the vial of his morning dose of prosium, and begins to experience emotions. Preston is assigned a new partner, the career-conscious Brandt. Following a standard police raid on a Librian woman, Mary O'Brien, who has stopped taking prosium, his emotional confusion is exacerbated during her interrogation. He first acts out of emotion when he makes an excuse not to execute a puppy in the nethers. Preston has by now ceased taking prosium and is forced to try and maintain his monotone and emotionless facade in front of his son and the increasingly suspicious Brandt. Over the course of the film, Preston's behavior increasingly mirrors that of Partridge in the beginning, even to the point of repeated dialogue. Soon, Preston is involved in illegal activities, during one visit to the nethers, he is forced to kill several Librian policemen who find the rescued puppy in his car. Brandt, having seen Preston rearranging his desk, signaling a dislike of conformity, and refusing to personally execute resistance members during a raid in the nethers, becomes more suspicious. In consequence, 
Preston is summoned before Vice Counsel DuPont, and explains that he is attempting to infiltrate the resistance in order to destroy it. DuPont tells him that he has heard rumors of a cleric attempting to join the resistance, and Preston promises to find this traitor. Preston soon makes contact with the resistance, he agrees to assassinate Father, an act which will create enough confusion for the underground to detonate bombs in Libria's prosium factories and hopefully bring down the Tetragrammaton Council. However, watching Mary O'Brien's execution in Libria's furnaces causes Preston to weep uncontrollably, and Brandt arrests him. Brandt brings Preston before DuPont, Preston, however, tricks DuPont into believing Brandt was the criminal, apparently cleared, Preston is released. He returns home to destroy his stashed prosium before police find it, and is confronted by his young son, who reveals to Preston that he and his sister have not taken prosium for some time, and have hidden his cache of prosium. As part of an elaborate plot formed with the underground, the leaders of the resistance turn themselves into Preston, who persuades DuPont to grant him an audience with Father. Preston arrives for his audience with Father, and is confronted by Father in a sudden reversal. Via a telescreen, Father speaks to Preston, revealing that he has been aware of Preston's sense offense, and has staged Brandt's arrest in order to lull Preston into a false sense of security and allow him to think that his assassination scheme can go ahead. The face on the telescreen changes, revealing the face of Vice Counsel DuPont, who explains that the real father died years before, and that the Tetragrammaton Council elected DuPont as the new head of state. Preston however, embarks on a rampage using concealed pistols that he uses in order to reach Brandt and DuPont. Preston and Brandt face each other using paired short swords, similar in size and shape to the Japanese Wakazashi, but Preston easily dispatches Brandt. Preston and DuPont then confront each other with handguns in a battle of gun kata masters, during which Preston manages to get the upper hand and kills DuPont. Preston then destroys the propaganda machines which broadcast across Libria, and the device which projects holographic images of Father. Realizing that the Tetragrammaton Council is faced with a crisis, the underground detonates their bombs and the prisoners are released, the film ends with a riot signaling the destruction of the Librian government. The film Equilibrium was produced by Jan de Bont's production company, Blue Tula Productions, written and directed by Kurt Wimmer and starring Christian Bale, Emily Watson, and Tay Diggs. Filming began on October 19, 2000 and ended on December 10, 2000. Most of the filming used locations in Berlin, due to its unique mixture of fascist and modern architecture. The review aggregation website Rotten Tomatoes reported that 40% of critics gave the film positive reviews and an average rating of 4.8 out of 10, based on 90 reviews, with the site's consensus stating Equilibrium is a reheated mishmash of other sci-fi movies. Metacritic gave the film a score of 33 out of 100, based on reviews from 22 critics, indicating generally unfavorable reviews.